As we all know, there is one decade that people truly loved and respected, and still do today, and that was the 1990s. And as we all know, there was something that truly made so great, and that was the Silver Age of Animation, aka the Cartoon Renaissance. And there were two great men that made part of that a reality, cartoonist Tom Ruger and movie blockbuster king Steven Spielberg. And with the help of Warner Brothers, this collaboration was more than they ever expected. Tarantino Adventures was more a Looney Tunes downsized show, but it was a very successful show. The plots were basically this. These kids who were the clones of Looney Tunes were being teached in a school called Acme University, and while that happened, hijinks and madness ensued. The show was more carrying itself with parodies and, ca and the characters. For the first time, we were able to hear these tiny characters speak. Buster Bunny was voiced by Charlie Adler until Animaniacs was doing its third season and finding out he did not get a single voice role. Babs is voiced by Chess McNeil, who would later voice Dot Warner on Animaniacs. Not to mention, Steven Spielberg, their boss, was voiced by Frank Walker, who would later voice other characters for Animaniacs. The humor of Tiny Toon Adventures was kind of odd. I mean, you'd have one episode where Babs goes to Wacky Land, having all these surreal, zany, and yes, wacky things happening. The music was done by Richard Stone, and every music score was done to perfection. And yes, every episode has its very own score to it. This show had its own ensemble cast. Characters such as Plucky Duck, Hampton J. Pig, Elmira Duff, Montana Max, Fifi LaFume, Shirley McLoon, Furball, Dizzy Devil, Gogo Dodo, and many, many more. Each character shared likeness of each Legion's character in which each had a mentor. Buster Bunny's mentor was Bugs Bunny. Babs Bunny's no relation mentor was well, she never actually had a mentor until Honey came along in the episode Fields of Honey. And no, Lola from Space Jam came in six years after Tony Tunes started. And many others were based off the classic Looney Tunes characters. In in interestingly enough, did you know that Go Go Dodo was based off the original Dodo character from the 1938 animated short Porky and Wacky Land and its character remake, Dodo for the Dodo. Yeah, we all remembered them. One thing that people do remember are the taglines in the end credits. But when looking at these ones, some of them were very... I don't know, strange? I mean, you have some like... And others like... It's been so real! And the one that people would really, would have really remembered. Hey, good night, Babs. Good night, Babs. This show had 98 episodes, making it the second longest Ruger slash Spielberg production to date. But if you include the two specials, it would be the longest. Unfortunately, the show was cancelled, but it managed to get reruns, so we were still able to experience it again over the years. But whereas the show was a hit, it's kind of hard to see the even more. So stick around every Saturday for the, ne for the next part of the retrospective. And thanks for watching.